In this video, we'll take a look at Skahoy core products. That means the most important products from Skahoy will be looking at the similarities and the differences of them, and also which brands, which applications you'll typically find them in. And if you're an end user, that will help you to maximize your investment, because you can better understand which Skahoy products work along with it and how you can get the most out of it. If you're a reseller, you will have better chances of offering a quality advice to your customers, and system integrators will better understand how to pick the right tool, because there are so many options from us, and there is a reason for every one of them. Them. So in this video, we'll try to cover some of that. If we look at what the core of Skahoy is, we are developing and manufacturing universal broadcast panels for live production. And that falls into categories such as controlling PDC cameras, shading cameras, vision mixing control, controlling audio products, replay control, routing, and finally, what we call auxiliary, which are products that bind stuff together in various ways. So the first category, the PDC control, is one of the most popular categories we have. And there we find PDC Extreme, PDC Pro, and PDC Fly. And these are all lovely controllers in themselves. The PDC Extreme is actually the one I brought today. This is our high-end PDC controller. The PDC Pro would be great for any studio or flyaway kit. And finally, the PDC Fly is the one you choose if you need something uh, small and also simple to use. The truth behind them is that they can all control the same cameras. It's just a matter of how many buttons you have on them and how direct access you um, can get from the product itself by the amount of buttons and joysticks and knobs and so on. They will all be able to work with the camera brands like Bird Dog cameras from Canon. You find a ton of PDC cameras, which are great. There are Sony PDC cameras, Panasonic, Bolin, even QSIS, which is like an AV brand. They also love to use our controllers for controlling PDC cameras through their platform. There are many other brands. I could mention, for instance, Ada. It could be uh, Ross cameras. We have uh, PDC Optics, of course. Uh, there's Lumens. We have Marshall. There's also Avonic. And there's uh, Everett. And finally, there's Vadio, which is also an AV brand, very well known in Navy. And our PDC controllers are compatible with all of these and maybe even more. I think there's like hundreds of PDC cameras if you look at it. Before we move on to the next category, I just want to mention that it is not the only three PDC controllers we have. We also have PDC View, which is great for small setups where ease of use is important because it has color thumbnails on it. That is used to show the thumbnail of a preset that could be recalled by a user who doesn't have like an education in broadcast. PDC Wiz is where size really, really matters because it is so tiny and also a beautiful product that this is probably the one you want to choose if it is not like the main controller for broadcast operator. Anyway, just check those out. They are other options. They are not the main, but they are options. And this is how we'll go through these categories, by the way. So now that we will be looking at the next one, camera shading control, there are two main products I want to highlight, and that is the RCP Pro. That is our premium universal RCP. And you see the RCP is a product that fits into shading bays and OB trucks and master control rooms, etc. The Colorfly is vastly different. That is a product based on motorized faders. So these flying faders will move into position as you change cameras. So that's designed for multi-camera control. If you look at the RCP Pro, that is perfect for single camera. Colorfly is perfect for multiple cameras. And I want you to scan the QR code or click the link in the description that will lead you to the booklet we have written on camera control options, because it's a really nice read if you want to learn all about these differences and similarities. The brands we can control with RCP Pro and Colorfly would include Ari cameras, high-end, beautiful, cinematic, and uh, shallow depth of field live production cameras. Of course, we have Sony cameras of all kinds and sorts. We have red cameras. We have cameras from Canon, from Panasonic, from Dreamchip, who make great POV cameras. Of course, there's Bird Dog, which is the PDC brand. There's JVC. There's AJA, which doesn't make cameras. They make the color box, which can also be shaded with these products. And there would be many more brands, but these are the main I want to mention for shading control, the, the ones that are typically used like that. The RCP Mini is a variant of the RCP Pro. So the idea of that product is really that it is simpler, so that's great for some uses, but it's also slimmer. So where you can normally fit in four RCPs for a camera operator, now you can have him shade six cameras because the RCP Mini fits into 
that shading bay with two thirds of the width, so you can have more. RCP V2 is another product. It is uh, found in three variations, one with a joystick, one with a fader, motorized fader, and a roller wheel, which is like an encoder. So you would choose fader and roller wheel depending if you want to do multi-camera control with this, because the joystick is like in a fixed position situation. So it is not ideal for multi-camera control, but we have these options. Check them out if you want. They are options, not the main products we sell in this category. If we move on to vision mixing control, you will find two products I want to highlight, and that would be Airfly Pro, very, very, very popular product for uh, vision mixing control. Powerful and affordable at the same time. It even comes with an option with NKK keys. Just watch out for that one. Then we have Master Key One. That is definitely our high-end scalable solution. And I say scalable because it is the one that would make you grow into a mega panel, essentially. So these switching control products, they both have our premium T-bar in them, and they have dedicated program preview rows with NKK keys in the case of Master Key One. And the products that you can expect to control with these would be Blackmagic Design ASIM switches, it could be KROS from Panasonic, VMix of course, and then we have TriCaster as well, that is like the big four. And now I would say we have the big five because we have Grass, Grass Valley entering this scene with the AMP product, which is like a cloud solution for all kinds of media production. It's like advanced media production platform or something like that. And there you find Maverick X Vision Mixer. There's also the Mini Mixers and probably there are many more things coming out. So watch out for Grass Valley's AMP platform. We support it with all our products. And then we have NetOnline, which is like a third party that uses these panels. There's Baco with presentation switches using Airfly Pro. We have a ROS Talk integration as well, so you can control ROS products now. We have Arcona. We also have third party integrations from Analog Way, just to mention a few. And that being said, you can hear that there's both our panels supporting brands, but there's also brands supporting our panels. So it can go both ways in our ecosystem. One of the cool things about the vision mixing controllers is that they can be extended. They would be the prime examples of modularity in the Skahoy ecosystem. A cross point 48 is the perfect extension to the Airfly Pro if you want more direct access to sources. So you can expand by purchasing that later. The same is true for Master Key 1 with Master Key 48. But I also want to show you the mega panel, which is basically Master Key 48 extensions added to either Master Key 1 or to what we call T-Block left and right, which is like a separate T-Bar section. These are designed to be scalable in multi-ME configurations. You can build a really huge mega panel. Check out that category as well. I just want to mention that we have it. Then we also have options like Airfly, popular for budget switching of ATEM, VMix, and TriCaster, and finally Rack Fusion Live, which is a Fusion product that integrates a true PVC controller with a switching controller on the left side in a rack unit. So very compact, nice uh, production unit for flyaway kits, etc. If we move on to fader banks for audio DSPs, I want to mention our Waveboard and Waveboard Mini. And Waveboard is eight channels fader bank. It has a knob on top with a display. It has a display next to the fader and three buttons you can use for mute, solo, and other delegation tasks. The Waveboard Mini is four channels of the same, and you can either use that solo or you can have it as an extension to the Waveboard so that together they would be 12 channels and auxiliary keys for paging, etc. This is great for a number of audio applications. It could be audio DSPs, I want to mention Direct Art with Project DMB. There's Biamp. There's also QSIS integration that they have done with our Waveboard. Then if we look at broadcast audio, there would be the audio mixers from Grass Valley AMP platform. There's uh, Wizard T's TriCaster audio channels inside of that one. We have the Atom audio. We can control uh, the Blackmagic Design Atom products. We have VMix audio as well. So that's in the broadcast category. And then finally, you can use these products as sidecars to real audio consoles. We're not trying to be your audio console, we're trying to be your sidecar to your audio control with a lot of really cool features built into our hardware. That could be Yamaha, it could be uh, Digico, Alan Heath uh, 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 audio products, and also Behringer as well. In the replay category, we have Timespin. And Timespin is like the only replay controller we have, and it is perfect for a new era of replay services and products. So we have Softron MP, uh, 
M Replay, yes. Uh, they have integrated Time Spin for years, basically. We have Dream Chip with their SSM500 slow motion camera, and we have a configuration that will work directly with that camera to control your slow mo playback from that camera. We have VMix Replay, very strong integration, and also TriCaster integration with the Time Spin. In the Link I.O. product category, we have three products I want to highlight today. You need to know about the Blue Pill server. That's the product you pick if you have older Skyhoy products with Unisketch inside. Actually, it's not just older products. We still have products that run the Unisketch inside. And if you don't have a Blue Pill product, you need the Blue Pill server to make that conversion into the Blue Pill universe. Reach out to us if you want to know more. It can also be used as a frame capture device and a number of other things. So that is important. We have the Ethernet GPI link, which is networked GPIO. So we have eight channels of inputs, eight channels of output on a DB25 connector. And you can use that to control basically anything that you have seen in this video, the devices we control with the other cameras. And finally, TCP link for ATEM is a very, very popular product. If you want to integrate ASIM switches with your AV system, such as Crestron, that's the product you need. Because you can basically issue standard ASCII text commands into TCP link for ATEM and have it transcoded into the protocol the ATEM talks. Very, very product, uh, important product there. So uh, check that out. We have the tally box and the tally lamp. You need to know about that. And essentially, that will give you tally for all the switching brands that I've mentioned previously. So go back uh, a few minutes in the video and check that one out. And the final category will be routing. Here I want to mention Rec Fly Uno. That is 24 four-way buttons with this place. That is great for routing video routers, etc. The Rec Pro 2 is another important and popular product here. It has 15 broadcast buttons and also an encoder with the display. So that's another one that you want to um, to just uh, look out for. These two are um, the main products I want to present to you today, but the truth is that there are many more, and they are all able to control these brands. That would be the Blackmagic Video Hub, that would be um, video routers from Grass Valley, or the AMP platform like Maverick X, etc. We have Ultrix routers, there's BarnFind, there's KROS, we can control Riedel routers, and many of these are SWP08 protocol compliant devices, so that's how we control those. 4A routers is another example. AJ Kumo, not to mention, that is like we have done that for years. We have Ross Talk as well. You can program all these buttons to route on these many different products from these uh, brands. And if you think, oh, what if they had a, you know, double size Rackfly Uno? Well, you can buy our Rackfly Duo. That is essentially 48 buttons. Or you can basically triple it up to uh, 70, 72 buttons on the Rackfly Trio if you want that. Those panels are like brothers and sisters, siblings, to the Rackfly Uno. Just so you know, we have the Rack Pro series, which is like the broadcast style NKK buttons in a Rack unit. We have Rack Pro 1, 2, and 3. They look like this. You can search them out on the internet. We have the Rack Control series, and those are great for Rack-based shading of cameras and parameter adjustment because they have encoders. And finally, I want to mention the Frameshot Uno, which is unique because it has color displays and four-way buttons, of course, that you can use for routing, but you can also use it to recall presets on cameras that support preset thumbnails being communicated. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked all the content you saw and got a better idea about what Skyhoy is all about. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you want to follow us. Then we have Facebook, Instagram, and um, activities on the X platform. We also have a newsletter you can subscribe to. And of course, I'll invite you to reach out to our sales team for any questions you may have.